I want to welcome you to this update for the First Presbyterian Church of Birmingham, Michigan, Everybody's Church, for Thursday, the 15th of December, 2022. And yes, it is that close to Christmas. But before we talk about Christmas and Christmas Eve, I want to talk about this Sunday, the 18th. On the 18th, the Children's Choir will be helping to lead us in worship again. And so we encourage you to be here and get excited with them about this Christmas season. Then immediately after they sing, they will head upstairs for a birthday party for Jesus. So uh, parents, grandparents, make sure your children, grandchildren are here. It should be an exciting and fun Sunday. Then immediately after the worship service, in Fireside, we will be having a meeting of the parents of youth, that is rising fifth graders up to seniors in high school. So if you are the parent of a youth, we encourage you to be there. We will be discussing the various possibilities of how the youth group will function now that Pastor Bethany is gone. And we have some interesting, some interesting things to talk about, so we encourage you to be there. Now, Christmas Eve. Christmas Eve, we'll have two services, five and eight. Five o'clock, the handbells will be playing. We will have a children's time and a short adult sermon. At eight o'clock, the choir is present, and again, a short adult sermon uh, and communion. So please be with us on Christmas Eve, either five or eight. And by the way, we are looking for ushers for both of those services. If you can be here to usher and then join us in service, please contact Amy Zimmer. Her number is here. Contact Amy at the church and let her know you are interested in helping out. Christmas Day, one service. That will be here in the sanctuary at 10 a.m. It will be live streamed. We hope you can come and be present with us. But if not, we encourage you to open your presence and then join us via live stream. New Year's Day, there will be no service here in the building. There will be a pre-recorded service, which will be online, so you can watch it before the football games, after the football games, maybe even during the football game. But there will be a pre-recorded service on New Year's Day. This is the season for giving, when God gave to us so much. There are plenty of opportunities for all of us to give back. One is the joy offering. This is a national offering that we partake in. All the money taken in in the joy offering, we'll be collecting it this Sunday if you want to bring it or on Christmas Eve or on Christmas Day. It goes to help retired pastors who find themselves in financial need after long services, often in very small congregations. And then it also goes to help some needy students at some of the Presbyterian Church USA's racial, ethnic colleges, universities, and high schools. Then there is the mitten tree. If you haven't seen the mitten tree, it is back out here. There are children at, at Alcott who will show up at the first of the year with no gloves, no hats. And so if you would like to help out with that, that would be greatly appreciated. Then we are at 80% of our pledges right now. We would love to get to 100% by the end of this week before the first of the year. So if you haven't had a chance to do it, uh, we encourage you to find that pledge card, uh, go online and help us reach that 100% uh, pledge for the coming year. Finally, I have one more ask and it doesn't cost anything. And that is we need a new voice over IP phone system. And none of us on staff have the knowledge or expertise to really hunt down the best system. So we're looking for one of you to volunteer, or two of you to volunteer, uh, to take on this project for us, to help us find the best system so that we can communicate with all of you all the time. And if you're interested, you can email me or you can call me at my phone number, which is 210-508-0184. 210-508-0184. Uh, give me a call. I would love to chat, text, have coffee. 
I know it's chilly outside, but hopefully you'll be able to get out and enjoy some of God's good creation. Find something to be grateful for, especially at this time of year when there is so much to be grateful for. Share that gratitude. And may God's blessings be with you now and always because God's love is amazing and real and alive.